So I just got this clamp multimeter from K Weeds or something. Um, and I just unpacked it and found out that it has a tiny problem. But I have a solution to this problem and I will show it to you in this video. And I will also put a promotion link so I will get 15% or something if you buy these products. I think the exact multimeter is not available but check them out. I think they are okay for the price. Definitely not a fluke or something, but definitely um, worth if you want to do some DC measurements um, with a clamp without disconnecting the wires from the battery, for example, because we got it to um, do some electrical stuff on a, our tiny Piaggio Porta. We want to convert to a cap event, so this is why I got it. Yeah, the problem is that I have a tiny offset on the DC measurement, and this is maybe due to magnetization of the clamp head or maybe due to some missing calibration they um, work by measuring the with the whole effect sensor the magnetic field strength in the clamp so having a magnet nearby or metal stuff magnetic metal stuff nearby definitely affects the reading so keep these away while measuring and also keep them away while storing them because you can magnetize the clamp but to get rid of this offset you can also calibrate it with a potentiometer on the inside and this is how you do it so first you open the device by removing the two black screws and the battery compartment and then uh, use a small screwdriver to open the lid and on the inside you can see the electronics and pretty much on the top is small potentiometer this one and if you rotate this, you can change the offset of the DC current measurements. So by rotating a tiny bit to the left, you can increase, I think, the value. And by rotating to the right, you can decrease the value. And mine showed minus 1.0 amps um, without calibration. And by rotating the potentiometer a little bit every time, I was able to get it to around zero. It doesn't have to be super precise because these uh, DC clamp multimeters are not super precise anyway. So having a zero in front of the comma is okay, I think. I would call this good, 0 0.06 is okay. Yeah, and if important thing is, is to have it not nearby any magnets, for example, this motor, yeah, this reduces uh, a false reading. So don't put it nearby strong magnets when measuring DC stuff. So I will just put these screws back in. Oops. Problem solved, I guess. Oh, it's the polarizer, um, the camera that makes it just play hard to read. But in real life it's not like that. It's a bit hard to read in, in some angles, but it's not this bad. But to check, this is almost zero and this is 3 amps, almost 3 amps, 2.83. supply it's almost three so I would say this is solved. The cool thing about these DC clamp meters is that you can even measure the direction of current so this is negative and if I turn this around this is positive. And to make this a real reviewed style video um, what you got in the package is the multimeter and a tiny fabric bag maybe handy I don't know uh, manual English to German then the temperature probe and some functional um, test leads but I have seen better but yeah they're okay for this I guess and besides the DC current measurement I was interested in you get the non-contact voltage measurement so you can test if something has voltage or not without touching it which is pretty cool I think then you have a current for 60 and 600 amps with AC and DC. Then you have a voltage AC and DC, frequency, duty cycle. Um, you have a resistance, um, capacitance and diode tester. And you can also test uh, for continuity and also normal resistance in ohm. And also you get a temperature sensor, which is in Fahrenheit on default, why ever. But you can also, which is pretty cool, have a max and minimum function. So if you measure, for example, current uh, on a car for the um, starter, you can see the max current is, for example, 300 amps. And then the minimum current when it charges is, let's say, 40 amps. And then you can clamp the meter to your battery and start the car without having the clamp in the hand, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm testing the max current function and 
gets angry when you exceed, I think, 5 amps or something. So it shows a red light in the display. But this is pretty handy for this kind of stuff where you don't have the multimeter in, your, in the hand, but uh, want to see the maximum and current after you did the measurements. Yes, I hope this was somewhat insightful and helped you uh, to solve the problem with your multimeter or found this multimeter interesting. So if you like, you can check out the affiliate link in the description or also check out the Amazon wishlist I put in the description. And if you buy stuff from that, I will receive it and can test it and do stuff with it. So for example, I got an ethernet shield for an Arduino from Emirates, I think. So thank you very much. Yeah, I put a lot of stuff in the list um, I need in some upcoming projects. So if you want to support that, feel free. So thank you, bye.